Hello, my friends. It has been a hot freaking minute since I did a little vloggy moment. How are you guys doing? I miss you guys so much. This feels a little bit weird to do because though I've been posting videos weekly, doing my moving series. By the way, if you haven't watched it, like go watch it maybe. Even though I've been making these videos, they've all been like about a topic, about my kitchen, about my bathrooms, about specific things and not just me updating you on like what's up. And honestly, I feel like I've changed. I've been living alone for like a month and a half and I feel like I've had so much growing in this time. My my maturity, my responsibilities, my way of thinking, my mood definitely because it's now summer and I just feel like a lot of things have changed and I'm gonna vlog today, talk to you guys about what my days have been looking like. But first of all, let me update you on the fact that I got a new freaking couch. I'm currently sitting on it. Here's the footage. Okay, so time for some much needed home updates. Now this pink little couch, it was actually doing the job. It's from Structube and I think I'm actually gonna put it in my office. I ended up getting this big couch. It was such a hassle to bring up and me and my dad were moving it in ourselves, but it's from Jags Furniture and it is kind of like a dupe for the cloud couch. It's so comfortable. It's literally a bed. I'm turning into a couch potato. Not actually, but all I want to do is sit on my couch all day because it's just so comfortable. Opening Spotify. I that I was I did want to make a whole like bedroom video, but there's honestly not that much that I'm going to add to my bedroom just because I kind of want my bedroom to be like a little sanctuary where I can go and relax and just chill on my bed. And also my bed takes up most of the space. There is things that I still need to buy, like a mirror for my vanity and like accessories and a night table and all this kind of stuff. Speaking of the bed, this video is actually sponsored by Bedshire. Bedshire is the perfect company to cozy up your bedroom or dorm or wherever the case may be with affordable linens. They have so many different kinds. Bedshire is gonna help me turn up my bedroom into a cozy den and they can help you turn your dorm or wherever the case may be into a cozy den as well and that is exactly the vibe that I'm trying to go for for my bedroom I just want it to be so comfortable and like a little sanctuary for me to go sleep in these products are perfect for back to school or dorming or college freshmen whichever it may be and I'm so excited because they actually sent me a ginormous package the first thing we got here is the waffle weave blanket waffle weave blanket okay we also have the sheet set I got two pillows I'm so excited and honestly the pillows that I have have right now are kind of not doing it for me. This is the mattress pad and the last box we have I think is the duvet. Ooh, she is a sage green. Perfect for summer. It's got little white flowers on it. Let's go to my bedroom and do my bed. These bed sheets are so cozy and soft to touch. The comforter literally feels like a cloud and the mattress pad is filled with 300 GSM microfiber fillings which makes the firm mattress soft and fluffy. The sheet set is also crafted from brushed microfiber fabric and the brushed craftsmanship provides an ultra soft feeling against your skin. I think the pattern is super cute. It's got a botanical print and I feel like it adds just such a fresh tone into your room. This comforter that I have is reversible so it's got different colors on each side and you can switch it up depending on what you're feeling especially if you have a dorm. All these products are machine washable and durable and they're super easy to take care of. I am obsessed with how this turned out. The bed is so freaking comfortable. I'm living for it. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight because I'm going to be just in all my pillows. I want to let you guys know that the bedding package I received is called the stylish package and it costs $119 dollars and 90 cents and it includes eight pieces mine is for a queen bed but this is completely suitable for dorms and they actually accommodate twin or twin xl sizes i'm gonna have the links to everything down below make sure you check out bed shirt turn your dorm into a cozy den thank you bed shirt for sponsoring this video I'm waiting for my friends and we're gonna have a boat day Surprisingly cold outside, probably because I'm in the it's shade not right now. Cold. It's really windy out. Super I know, windy. Know, it's actually really hot. This is like the first so official day of summer. So, boat day it is. There it is. I can never bring the spot. We hopped on someone's yacht. How's that? It's fine. Oh, I didn't hear the honey bun. Uh huh. That's a good. 
Shad! Watch! Shad, breathe! <laughs> <laughs> mm, honey! Are you here? That's right, that's right. Me? My camera? We have a recording. She's YouTube famous. Vlog? She's YouTube famous. She is YouTube famous. She is YouTube famous. I don't she want to wreck your shot. Famous. No, almost has a million no, subscribers. Fern, are you at a million yet? Almost. Oh, wait, I'm gonna a million followers. Yeah, we have to. We have to have <laughs> multiple parties for a million. Uh, maybe a million parties. Honestly? I am so excited. Today's Rosina's birthday party, and I have been running around all day, nonstop. I am not kidding. I have so much to do. I've been listening to literally Mexican merengue music because it's so fast that it makes me like work faster. I don't know if that makes sense. I've been filming, cleaning, cooking, editing, emails, so much stuff right now. Showering. I don't know if this is a good decision because I'm so busy. I literally ordered Walmart to my apartment. That's how living in the city, I guess, is. But anyways, I ordered Walmart to my apartment because I ordered a bunch of cake mix and like decorations for my house and like all this stuff for Rosina's birthday. And considering that I have so much to do, I don't know if it's the best decision for me to make this right now. It would just really make a difference. Basically what's happening for Rosina's birthday is her and Michaela are coming over and I'm gonna fully finish this cake and like have stuff here. They're gonna finish getting ready here. And then at like 7.45, we have dinner at a super fancy restaurant. So I actually have to get ready. And then we're gonna sleep over here. We're probably gonna go to a bar after and then they're gonna sleep over here. So I really just wanna have it be nice for them. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if I should make this cake, but I feel like if I do, it would really make her day. You know what I mean? text from Rosina saying that they're gonna be here in five minutes so I'm gonna quickly as fast as I can decorate this cake watch the time float on I'm so stressed. I am so stressed. Why did I choose to do this? I don't know. I don't know, okay? Rosina, if you're watching this, I'm doing it for you, girl. <laughs> this is not okay. As I fall beyond. I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future. <laughs> I think I dropped all my plants on the way here. <sighs> Let me show you what I got. Starting off with number one. She used to be so much prettier before she was squished in a freaking bag in my car. <sighs> she needs help. This is Chinese money plant. So I feel like it must, actually I think it's just because these are shaped in coins, but I feel like it might be like a lucky charm, like money attractor type of vibe. Anyways, it looks really sad right now because I freaking killed it. I got this bad boy, Banana Musa. I literally am kind of disappointed in myself. I crushed like all of these plants on the way here. That is so humiliating. I also got this Monstera plant. I feel like this is like a, not a basic one, but like a pretty common one that people get. And I also got this white little pot. And the last one I got is this one. I really like this one. This is a peace lily. It comes with a little flower on top and I just think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna pot all my plants and yeah, if you guys have any plant tips, please let me know because I, I don't know anything about plants. When you were younger, you didn't see things quite the same as you do now. But now you're older, you find that 
sometimes you wish mental breakdown all day yesterday mental breakdown first, first, first mental breakdown of living alone guys today's been a bad day today's been a bad day and this is gonna be the reality the reality back behind the scenes of living alone I'm just really overwhelmed right now I feel like I have a growing list of tasks so much that I need to like film so much that I need to edit I have sponsors that I need to hand in I have to go to FedEx and like send packages I have my credit card that I need to fix I have flights that I need to plan I have this trip that I need to book like I feel like this whole month I've just like neglected all my responsibilities and I'm realizing that it's really hard to cook for yourself every day clean after yourself I'm freaking lonely alone here I feel like I need a human interaction and I haven't talked to anyone in like three days, which is like literally nothing. That is not long. But I feel like everything is just kind of overwhelming me right now. I could start getting my routine, like get my shit together this next week, but I leave for a trip next week on Tuesday and I have so much prep to do for that trip. Living alone has very many pros. The cons I would say are that there's no one here to really console you and I guess I'm just adulting. I guess that this is what it is where everybody is waiting on you and you have so much to do and you just feel like you can't really catch a break because there's always something on my mind thinking like, oh, but you could be doing this. Oh, but you could be doing this. And it's like, I start doing Doing something and then I stop that because I think something's more important and then I end up doing everything half-assed and I'm just like what am I even doing that's how I feel right now and I'm just stressed I'm also stressed I don't know I don't know what was in the air don't know if mercury was a retrograde don't know if I'm gonna get my period don't know if it was because I got my extensions done and I got a new perfume and while spraying it and my head being in so much pain I felt like extremely overstimulated and irritated and I also don't know if it was because I had no plan I hadn't seen anyone and it was super excessively cloudy and gloomy yesterday could have been a mixture of all three of those things or all 50 of those things that I just listed but yesterday was not a vibe I just felt super overwhelmed I still do feel overwhelmed but I slept in this morning until 10 a.m. so I feel Feel like a little bit better to like sum it up i guess i didn't realize how hard it was to actually move in to somewhere moving out for the first time in general is kind of like really a big deal and i guess i didn't like register it as a big deal and you know it's the first time for many things it's the first time where you have so much responsibility and it's the first time where you know you're completely alone you don't have anyone really to just like rely on and i live a little further away from my family and my friends so you know there's a lot of new things happening as well as like work balancing everything and like also trying to balance having a social life you know like now i'm in the city and i want to go out on the weekends and i feel like i just kind of hit a wall after go 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 for like a month and a half straight and now i'm getting a little bit overwhelmed and then i travel next week so it's like when is the routine happening i am going to take you along my day today because today is gonna be a better day i woke up i put some like workout clothes on just to like you know feel a little bit better brushed out my hair i did my skincare washed my face and now i think i'm gonna put some music on and i'm going to clean my apartment because it's super messy Yesterday I actually went to Zara and I got this perfume and it's called Gardenia and I heard that this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Black Opium by YSL. Honestly, I don't know if it is. I don't even remember what the other one smells like, but all I know is that it smells really good. And this is my new favorite purchase. It is a hat from Aloe Yoga. I've been wearing it so much recently. I just really like the way it fits and frames my face. Also this mini hoodie is from House of Concepts collab with Los Angeles Apparel.
I'm finally home. Guys, look at my little tan. Kind of a burn, low key. I just drove home and I was like, I had my top down in my car and I definitely just got a tan and I'm so excited. Look how many things I just bought and picked up. I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I'm low key fomoing on the fact that it's like really sunny out right now and I just wanna go and tan, but I have duties. I have things to do. Let me show you what we got. First of all, I met up with my mom and she brought me this package from home and it's got a lot of fun stuff in it. First of all, a Charlotte Tilbury package. Charlotte Tilbury sent me PR. I love them with a burning passion. Ah! Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury, if you're watching this right now. So they sent me Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This is perfect because I've really been trying to take care of my skin more, especially this summer. I've been wearing this hat everywhere because I realized, actually, I'll tell you this right now. When I went to get my facial, she told me that I have this thing called Mel... Actually, I don't know what it's called, but it starts with an M. Basically, it's a skin condition where whenever you're in the heat, like even hot yoga, which I didn't know, which is concerning because I've done hot yoga for the past month now. But when you're in the heat, these pigmentations that are under your skin rise to the surface. And I actually have like discomfort coloration on like my eye. I actually hope that I don't look weird on camera because I went to Sephora and I tested out foundation on this side of my face. So if I do, don't mind that. But anyways, I've been wearing a lot of sunscreen recently because I'm like, I just don't want to age and get wrinkles and get like skin pigmentations when I'm like freaking 30. Also got this beautiful skin sunkissed glow bronzer. You can use this on your face and body and it's infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin D. It's huge. Oh my God. Oh! I am so happy. Look how big this mirror is. I love Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, I'm in such a good mood. Can you see? Do I? I'm like, am I okay? Did you see how I was last night? And they gave me this little bronzing brush. She also made me a bunch of protein balls. So that's epic. They're like cocoa oat protein balls. She crocheted me a shirt. Look, she even added beads. She's a pro at freaking crocheting. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, it's basically just a square, but you tie this around your neck and like this around your body and it's like a triangle. I don't know. We're gonna try it out later. Okay. From H&M. There's actually an H&M home, which is super epic because they have a lot of cute stuff. I got this little picture frame. I think I'm gonna put this in my office. You can just slide a photo in there. And I bought these that actually go on the wall. And they're again picture frames, but since they all match, I was thinking that they would just look really cute. I also got this. It's a candle holder. And you can stick candles in there. If you guys remember, I had these iridescent candle holders on my table. Yeah, they both broke, which is super unfortunate. So maybe we'll switch it for this one or this will go on some sort of thing. I also got this candle. It is sun-dried linen. I'm gonna put this on my desk. Notes of clean cotton, apple blossom, and a comforting touch of white musk. It's cute. It's kind of like a little bit of like light pink. And I got this pink tank top. This is also adorable. I was thinking I could like cut this and just like, you know, wear it in the summer. I also noticed as I was leaving that they had matching pink shorts and I'm kind of like sad that I didn't buy the pink shorts. And it's $9.99. I got it in a small. Then from H&M, I got this white rug. I think I'm gonna put this in my room. I feel like it's the perfect size. It's not too big or too small. It was $79. So you guys are gonna see the room renovation as well, but honestly, I'm kind of going through a little bit of a dilemma where in my last bedroom, it was super like Pinterest inspired and that did really well on the internet. Like you guys ate that shit up. Pinterest ate that shit up. But now I'm like a little bit older. I'm like, hmm, minimalism. I actually don't want to have a ginormous mess everywhere I go. Then I'm like, but it does better for the video. And I know y'all gonna say, friend, do what you want. Don't do it for the video. Guys, I'm a YouTuber. The more that I do stuff that you guys like, the better it does for me because I gain more subscribers, I gain more views, I make more money. It all recycles in itself. So obviously I'm gonna pick whatever I wanna do at the end of the day, but I'm still taking in consideration what does well on the internet. Does that make sense? <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm hyped up right now. I'm like, do I need another energy drink? I don't know, I did have a coffee. Next week, I told you I'm going to a trip to Montreal and I'm not gonna, actually, I'll tell you guys kind of what it's about. Basically, I have this super secret project that's coming out in August and I've been working on this for like almost a year now and it's one of my biggest surprises yet. When I tell you that I'm excited for this, it's not just like a little bit, like I'm just like a little bit excited. No, I am stoked for this, this is gonna be insane. And basically, I'm going to Montreal to meet with the team and we're gonna do a photo shoot and like all this kind of stuff. I just want my makeup to look flawless. I feel like, you know, it's not crazy of me to want to look my best when I'm away, especially because they're going to be in photos and it's going to be like a big deal. So basically, I just bought a bunch of new makeup products to make my face makeup just look really good and just, you know, picture perfect. I don't want to be taking photos and then regret that my makeup looked so bad. To start off, I got this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is before you put on makeup and it makes it last all night. Then I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Flawless Foundation. I heard lots of good things about this and I actually posted it on my Instagram asking like what's a good flash proof 
waterproof foundation and a lot of people recommended this one I got the shape tape concealer. I've heard so many good things about this concealer. It's by Tarte I am a big concealer girl because my under eyes are always so dark and I don't know how I haven't tried this yet I know they didn't have it in Canada for the longest time. So I'm really excited to try this I got this I actually had this before and it was really good So I know that it works well. It is the Mac prep and prime fix plus setting spray But it's mattifying and I heard that apparently for flash photography matte is what you want to do I have so many points and look how epic this was with the beauty insider points and it was 500 points Oh awkward. I thought it was skincare and this is hair care it looks like this this I brought from urban outfitters And I was thinking this would be super fun to include in this video and to make a tiktok about it is this heatless curl set I've been seeing this all over tiktok and it looks kind of crazy It looks like this and you like put it in your hair You wrap your hair around it and you wear it overnight and it's supposed to be perfect for heatless curls And because I have extensions in they're super long and I feel like they would really work with this and also I can't I keep using heat on my hair. My hair is gonna fry off and fall off. Yeah, that was a ginormous haul. Really random because I wasn't even trying to buy stuff. I'm like really conflicted on what I should do because I'm like, should I keep cleaning my apartment or should I go outside? It's a beautiful day today and I don't think you guys understand. Like if you live in LA, yeah, it's sunny every day. You don't need to go outside. You can be productive when it's sunny. But in Vancouver, when I tell you, I think the city as a whole is seasonally depressed because there is freaking months of straight rain. The minute it is sunny outside, everybody's outside. And it just feels like you're doing something wrong if it's a sunny day and you're indoors. It just does. Everybody's outside. Everybody's at the beach. Everyone's biking, hiking, workout classes. You get what I'm trying to say. I just don't know if being inside right now is the move. I just ordered food from this place called Trackers. I got a salad. Yum. I got the braised beef bowl. So random. I'm not really a beef girl. Kind of excessive. I haven't had beef actually in a while because I don't really like cooking beef for myself. And now that I've been living alone and cooking myself, I've just been eating so much like tofu and stuff. And I always get asked actually if I'm vegan, which I'm not. I just like hate cooking meat. Very good. I just wanted a little something more hearty today.